Good morning. We're so glad you're here. I don't know if Peter introed or not yet, um, but it's Saturday. His last full day gone. Um, I'm on the floor of my kitchen because I'm just putting away some Pepsi, but I wanted to share my serious Florida problem, and that was keeping this case of Pepsi in our car for too long. And we're so lucky because we had one, it must have been like a super, super hot day. We had one Pepsi in the front that actually exploded because it was so hot. We had a whole case. I was like, this whole case is done. Luckily, look at, only like three of them are like this. I think it might have lost some carbonation because like this is clearly air that's like filling it up. But holy smokes, can you imagine if an entire 12 pack of Pepsi exploded in our car? I, I'm not sure. I'm gonna try and drink these because I'm not gonna let a Pepsi go to waste. Um, but yeah, happy Saturday morning from my allergic reaction face, from my dog giving me kisses this morning, and from my Pepsi woes on the floor of our kitchen. <laughs> All right, let the fun begin. They got these birds. These are some fancy motorized scooters that you can just rent for a couple bucks at a time. This is where our lovely morning begins. Look at me go. Look at this. This is probably not safe to be vlogging and scootering at the same time. There he is. Ooh, making a chirp. We just saw Muhammad Ali and the Colonel, the colonel himself. Um, Gravesite is very emotional. Um, now we're headed back. The whole crew is leaving without us. Oh, yeah. We're back from the, the cemetery. Quick trip. But look at all of our birds. Got a whole posse. I think there's a few in back, but super easy. You got a kickstand, your brake. This is how you, you sign in with the app. Got a little bell. Goes up to about 18 miles an hour. A lot of fun. I think we're taking these potentially to Churchill Downs later, but we gotta figure it out. Much calmer day today than yesterday. We're at Churchill Downs. So they got yeah, the Kentucky Derby. Look at this place. So we're gonna check. Are we doing a tour? Are we just walk in? I think we're just gonna, I think, kinda go around on your I'm own. struggling without my sunglasses ever since I busted them. But we're gonna check out some horses. Wow, wow, wow. Look at this. Woo! Kentucky Derby Museum, Churchill Downs. Beautiful sunny day. Come on, look at this. Is this, who is, is probably a super famous horse that I know nothing about because I don't know a lot about horse racing, but I'm willing to learn, willing to get into it. I like Seabiscuit. Going for a tour. And you'll notice there are about 14 numbered stalls in here. That's because for every other race here at Churchill Downs, 14 is the maximum number of horses you can have in a race. If you want your horse to get into the derby, they can't, you can't just buy your way in, they have to qualify. And then if you look over here, you're gonna see the Twin Spires. They are actually a National Historic Landmark, so they're protected by the government. We can't change them, but we wouldn't want to because they are a huge symbol of Churchill Downs and Kentucky as well. And if you look under these Twin Spires, you're gonna see another Triple Crown winner from 1973. His name is Secretariat. You might've heard of him. There's a movie about him. He was considered one of the greatest racehorses of all time. A lot of people's favorite horse. So Secretariat holds the record for the Derby here. He had the fastest Derby ever in a minute 59 and three-fifths of a second. All right, here's the part everyone's all excited about. We're going on to the track. Kind of smells like the beach. The wet sand. All right, so feel free to come down here. Sit Look at this. It's famous. Look at there's the finish line. Every... Kentucky Derby winner has won. Wow, so our tour guide is almost over. But they said this, we see 60,000 on Derby Day, and the infield, 80,000. So that on day of Derby Day, this is the third largest city. Queen of England's been here before, Beyonce's been here before. Dom's cousin Ricky was here before in the infield. Just, I'd love to come to Derby one day, the Derby one day. One of these years. We'll, we'll make it. Sarah, we'll make it. Wow. Look at this. We got Twin Spired who ran in the 2011 Kentucky Derby in Tatanka, which is just a companion pony. Wow. That's a, a horse that really ran in the Kentucky Derby. Wow. Look at this fun stuff. The chair from the president. We got a press pass for the 100th Kentucky Derby. Very cool. 
There's a little bar next door. We just had mint and julep from. It was Don. It was actually most of the guys, including Don. Their first first time they ever had a mint and julep. It's okay. Um, I think I had one out in Disneyland when Sarah and I went, went out there for our honeymoon. Oh, look at the Secretariat. Disney's everywhere you go. Where you go? Where you go? Disney's everywhere you go. Oh, the doo da day. Very cool. Oh, the infamous triple crown. Look at that. That is a. These are beautiful, beautiful trophies. Wow. The horse has to be three years old, so they literally get one chance in their entire life to get a triple crown. Wait a minute. The paddock. That's like. That's like my favorite place to stay at Saratoga Springs is the paddock. We're about to leave to go to lunch. I think we're going to some famous chicken place for lunch. Look at this. This. Is the, this is exactly the front of Saratoga Springs. And you've got your time back there and all of your famous hats. Look at these hats. Sarah, when you're watching this, just know we're going to go to the Kentucky Derby one year. Maybe in the next, let's say, go, Sarah, this is the goal. Next three years, we're going to Kentucky Derby. And we're going to get hats. And, and I'll wear that. It's going to be great. All right, we're here at the Hotel The Brown to get some lunch. There's some famous Kentucky meal that we're gonna get here. Well, I don't think I am. I think it's got chicken all over, but all these guys are gonna get it. Yeah, yeah. We're getting the, the hot brown. Peter Brookhart, Donnie, there's hot brown. Oh, great. I haven't tried it yet. All right, we're leaving the brown. Dom, how was your hot brown? Hot brown was good. A lot of cheese, a lot of dairy. Definitely not vegan, that's De for sure. Definitely not. Definitely gonna bind this boy up. Um, stomach right now is feeling okay, but... We heard a thunder thunderstorm was rolling in. So we're not gonna bird back, but hey. I think I'm gonna bird when we get there. Oh. If it's not storming, we don't want to get electrocuted. It's so. fine, it's all protected. Um, we're supposed to play some bags. We're going to a baseball game tonight, right? Yeah, we're gonna have a vegan hot dog at the baseball game, vegan yeah. beer, and we're gonna play. They're mocking me. I'm the, I'm, a, I'm the mockery. Fifteen dudes hang out all weekend. And I'm a vegan. It's an uphill battle, but it's fine. All right, friends. I was actually nervous to see how I looked in the viewfinder. It's 4:30. Today has been going by so fast. I spent two hours on the phone with my godmother. I spent time on the phone with my mother. Um, designing my older sister's wedding shower invitations and other like pieces um, for the day um, yeah the vlog like whenever the vlog is like the two different parts it takes a little bit longer just to organize like chronologically how everything goes um, but the day really got away from me and I was hoping to like just be more chill but I'm gonna take some time sit on the couch I started How I Met Your Mother from season one, episode one, just to have like stuff on in the background. I am still figuring out if I'm going to do the July recap today because I'm probably going to edit today's vlog tonight because I have an early morning tomorrow going to the Galaxy's Edge preview. Um, so that would be three videos <laughs> edited in one day. Um, I'm also going to the Bugs tonight just to hang out and I want to do the dishes and also cook like a meal for tomorrow so that in between the craziness of getting Peter from the airport and going to see the last awesome mix live that the food would just be ready to eat. So my relaxing day has quickly filled up um, but I am just going to rest for a little bit now, drink some tea, watch some TV. Um, and yeah get right back to it soon i i don't know why i expected today to be like a totally lazy day but um still it feels good to be productive and at least i'm in my pjs while doing it all right so we're, we left i left the guys we got starbucks after the brown and i had to come to this bank and get some cash because i have no cash and a couple of things like bag tournaments and everything we've been doing cash and a couple of the distillers were cash so i actually borrowed money from the bachelor so that's not cool of me, but we're getting back. Sarah's on the phone. You can't hear her because I'm in my head. I have my headphones on, but she's here with me. I'm gonna. I'm, I took this. This is how I got there, and these things are incredible. And Shane told me that Orlando's getting the bird system, so that'd be super awesome, especially if they're by us in Winter Park. I cannot wait. So that'll be a lot of fun. I gotta head back, and I think we're gonna start playing some bean bags. Oh 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight birds for our Airbnb. That is awesome. That whole thing, eight dollars. 22 minutes, eight dollars. Two miles, not bad. So we're back at the cottage. That's what you guys are calling it, the cottage. <laughs> you, are, you are Michigan, you are. We're back at the cottage, drinking Starbucks and sweet baby Jesus. Playing cornhole, Peter Brookhart. Just spent eight dollars on the scooter ride. It was the best eight dollars I spent all weekend. And I'm gonna win because I'm the best, and I'm from Michigan, and that's what we do all day, every day. Is play bad. Would do you rate that coffee from one to ten? Uh, a solid four. Oh. That's a rookie score. Four one. Is that better? Uh, out of ten. What about four one seven? Take that for rookie score. That's Shane. a professional score. Four one seven, right here. Sugar Shane. Oh. So I hope you were able to follow that okay. Um, it's just kind of like a messier, kind of go with the flow type of recipe because you kind of like have to taste and add and taste and add. Um, I definitely made the peanut sauce a little bit too watery, but I think it'll be fine. The flavor is good. I'm gonna have one before I go out, but this is actually for dinner tomorrow because we're gonna be so busy. So here's the final little plating. I guess you could put it on just like a wrap or something too. Um, but the leaves and the carrots and the cucumber have really good crunch. Alrighty, so I actually ended up coming to my friend Jess's house um, just to hang out and to print my ticket. I also filled up the tire by myself. The alert came on and I went and did it at Wawa. So I don't know how much I'll film. We're probably just like relaxed and hanging out. I do know that she bought me a sweet treat. So maybe I'll show you that. Bags are over. I came in last place. It's hot in here. What, what game are we going to? We're going to a minor Louisville league. Bats. Louisville Bats. Louisville Bats. The game started. The game started at 6:30. 40 minutes ago. So 40 minutes ago. We're halfway over. Second inning. Think they'll have a vegan dog for me there? Probably not. Probably not. Here we go. Louisville Slugger Field. I was just walking over here the other day, and now we're here for the game. Oh, look at this. This is fancy. We got against the Grand Brewery and Smokehouse. Got to purchase some tickets. This is looking fancier than I thought. Ooh, there's a lot more people here than I thought there would be. Nice nighttime or evening game. We're heading out, going to barbecue. All right, we made it on over here to the Feast Barbecue joint. Getting some barbecue and they got tofu. Tofu. I had the message there. She found the allergen ingredients online. And I'm good on all the tofu and any of the sauces. Now check it out. There's my crispy tofu and sweet potato fries. I'm gonna get some hot vinegar sauce in there and destroy probably in this in like four, about 40 seconds. So the treat that Jess got me that I showed earlier in the vlog were lavender cupcake tops from Erin McKenna at Disney Springs. So, so good. Um, I'll do the message real quick. Every man, and I'll change that to person, is the architect of their own fortune. So lust. So I am actually on my iPhone right now because footage is being imported into the computer. Um, did a little bit of editing tonight, but Peter wasn't able to get me the footage, which is totally fine. I'm ready for bed, um, ready for Galaxy's Edge, so this will go up later than we expected, but that's all right, life happens. Um, Evie's already been asleep in the room. And I didn't vlog much today, but it was like, ended up being such a busy day for me. Um, but I'm so excited for tomorrow, everything about it, and really cannot believe that it's already the last Awesome Mix live show. Really feels like fall is on its way. It is good to be home. All right, quick, quick, quick update. The dinner was, it was okay. It was pretty good. The sauces were good. Everybody else who actually had the barbecue said it was like mediocre. 
but we're back at the Airbnb. Um, the guys are gonna get ready. I'm gonna sign off now, but if there's any other clips of Dom on a mechanical bull or something, that will be me sending it to Sarah from my phone. So thank you for following along. I am so excited to see Sarah and Eve. I've missed them terribly. It's been a fun weekend, but I will always and forever just want to have Sarah with me. So love you guys, and it's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.